Hi, welcome back to my channel and I'm Victoria Wondersnatch and today I'm doing another Drag Race Roundup because Carmen Farala has one Drag Race Spain, Oscar 6 is getting down to the nitty gritty and Drag Race Holland Season 2 has started. So I'm just going to cover some stuff that I think is interesting. It's not going to be a blow by blow, but I think some stuff that I think is worth discussing, all right? And I'm going to do an All Star 6 runway, the pop art runway, and I'm going to try this pop art Wonder Woman that Nikki Tutorials did and a whole bunch of other people as well, all right? And if that's something you want to see, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell for post notifications so this channel can grow, all right? Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so I'm back. Just gonna start priming my face first with milk, I think. I'm gonna need a haircut soon too. So for this pop out look, this is gonna be a very natural, hopefully natural <laughs> look, but then with all of the cartoon lines, alright? I want it to really, really pop, so I'm gonna use some of this uh, illuminating drop from Dolce & Gabbana. Just a little bit. This, so I can get that glow from within look. Alright, so first, Drag Race España, okay? It was actually a really, really good season. It felt a lot like Drag Race Thailand. Um, very, very rough and tumble. The queens were all amazing. They were very raw. I mean, when Duvima Nami refused to lip sync, <laughs> she, she, she was in two of the most dramatic lip syncs <laughs> in the entire series, right? One when Inti left, and then the second one when she refused to lip sync against Sagittaria. Okay, and of course, Carmen Farala won. I, I predicted that. I mean, she was definitely the best. All the things they didn't even say, you know, she was making outfits on the fly and they looked like better than the stuff she actually brought. 2W. During the reunion, oh, Carmen Farala looked stunning. I really, really like this hair. A little bit messy, a little bit like a um, 80s supermodel Linda Ronstadt kind of a hair. I really want to try to do something. Maybe my hair today looks a bit like that. I'm going to see whether it passes muster. Okay, I'm going for a very 80s Wonder Woman look. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take this shirt off before I dirty it. This is gonna be body painting today. Killer Queen ended up in the finale, but you know, I have a feeling that might have been a fluke. She is still a little bit messy and a little bit, you know, rough around the edges. But you know, a few of her looks that she's been posting on social media recently have been really, really amazing. Okay, so I think she's gonna really go far. I'm just wondering whether she's still practicing as a doctor. There's still so much in there. This thing just, I mean, after a few uses, the mechanism, I guess, doesn't work anymore. Going to my trusty tart shape tape instead. Yeah, so I think for Drag Race Spain, all the other queens came back looking amazing, okay? I think all of them had a really good showing. And yeah, I think they're ripe for season two. Over in All Star 6, there is, I think, a lot of riggery going on. The judging is, yeah, a little bit funny. Yeah, in American Drag Race, I think you can tell the difference between this and all the other drag races. It's really a bit overproduced. I mean, if if Drag Race Spain was less produced, I don't think Killer Queen would have made the finale, right? I think I think if, if, if they really, really produced it, they'll probably try to edit a more successful run for Hugasio because he would probably look amazing in the finale. Let's go with the highlight with my white. Keeping the white really tight in there. Okay, and now my 11W. Yeah, so this last last episode of Drag Race was a snatch game of love. I, I initially thought that the game within the game, they're going to just get all the queens to come back for this super massive snatch game. And they'll just keep whoever, you know, the top six or something, top five. That would have been really, really quite exciting. <laughs> But it couldn't have been because, you know, a lot of the other queens have already said who they were going to do in Snatch Game, okay, in interviews and stuff. And, um, yeah, they missed too many challenges. So I really don't know what this game within the game is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be humongously disappointing. So the contours and everything will be soft, but the cartoon effect will be... will come in with the liners and everything later. So the Snatch Game of Love, there was... A clear front runner for this one, okay? Gin uh, Ginger Minge obviously won with her Phyllis Dilla. She was quick, responsive, and hilarious, okay? So I think she chose well, she 
acted well and she was a dead ringer for Phyllis Diller. It really just showed that the first time she went on All Stars, it, she was just too fresh off a season, okay? And I think you can say the same thing about Jan this season, that Jan is just a little bit too fresh off season 12 for this, for this round of All Stars. Okay, I think I want to go for warmer, a bit warmer colours today. I'm going with Guinea, my crusty old Guinea, for my nose contour and my brows. Okay, so I don't want the brows to be too high today because there's going to be the Wonder Woman crown. Yeah, so Ginger Minj, with all her runways and everything, she's been a little bit hit and miss, okay? She has some really great runways, but you know, compared to the rest, it's still a bit mediocre, okay? but this is the best she's ever looked on any runway. Okay, so I really think maybe this is Ginger Minj's season to win. Okay, ombre the front a little bit. I mean, this runway, this pop art runway, three of them came out with this Andy Warhol-like face, face thing. Could have been a little bit more original. But Ginger Minj, I think her foam wig looked okay, but I think as Trixie said, you know, it's really small foam wig. I mean, if for drag, she should have made a huge, massive one. Especially for All Stars. <laughs> How do you like the brows? I'm gonna powder the bottom half of my face and then work on my eyes. I've been trying this new thing where I do the bottom half of my face first, okay, and leave the powder there to bake while I do my eyes on a wet base. Okay, next, Trinity K. Bonet. She did Whitney Houston and, you know, really bombed this one. And she really bombed the first challenge as well. You know, um, the comedy challenge when she tried to do stand-up comedy. You know, and although she's got two wins under her belt, I don't think she can win this season. I mean, she really, really bombed this and then her wig fell off the last lip sync. And as she said, you know, she's lost both her lip syncs <laughs> in this um, All Stars. And she's kind of like gone back into a season six excuses of saying, oh, I don't do this, I don't do that, okay? For coming to the Snatch Game and, you know, that was not really All Stars behavior, I think. Okay, so the eye's gonna be a really natural eye. I'm gonna go back to use my ColourPop Bare Necessities palette for this. My warm shades. See, I usually like to pack it on with a really dense brush and then blend it out. I think today I'm going to try to go, go for a softer look and then, you know, try to get that dimension that way. The primer. This is the Kaleidos Tone Activator. Okay, going in with transition shade, quite a light touch I'm giving it. Okay, yeah, so Whitney Houston was really, really bad. I mean, she looked like her, but she could not banter. She could not respond to any of RuPaul's questions. She even asked to repeat the question at one point. So yeah, I think she really, really bombed this one. And you know, she was sitting right next to Dolly Parton. She could have done a whole I will always love you thing, you know, because Whitney Houston covered Dolly Parton's I will always love you and made it the biggest song ever. So she could basically do something like copy everything Dolly Parton did, but you know, make it more dramatic and everything. And, and that could have been a whole bit by itself, but that was a huge lost opportunity. Now going in with um, Hustler, which is a lighter shade, just to blend out that edge. Now a flat packer brush, I'm going in with a darker shade Crack On. And okay, and then Kylie. Kylie was really, really good at, as Dolly. Even impressed Trixie Mattel herself. And she could banter, she could, she could keep up with Eureka and everything. And that was really, really quite surprising and really a good surprise. I think she's going to go all the way to the top. I'm not sure whether she can win the whole thing. I think she might need to win another challenge before she, that can happen, but yeah, she was a real surprise. And her runways have been stellar this whole time, okay? She's been stunning, okay? Wow, I really, really think um, Kylie has really come to play. She's a little bit boring in the confessionals, but I think that's okay. She's not giving too much away. It was a little bit awkward last week when she was like, you know, she kept sucking up to RuPaul, saying RuPaul changed her life about the book signing thing and everything, but that was almost like trying to give RuPaul this kind of um, stamp of approval for trans people or something, I don't know. Pretty standard contoured eye, just going in back with a uh, hooked. So blend that out a little bit. Okay, now I can go and set that forehead. <clears throat> yeah, Kylie, her, her doll is really good. She even did that fingernail singing thing and that's exactly how Kylie apparently wrote 
uh, some of her most famous songs. She even said that, that she was sitting backstage and just doing, using this too for a rhythm and everything. So I think Kylie did really, really well. Eureka as Divine was a little bit one note. She was just really, really loud and, you know, she was okay, but, you know, she didn't really give anyone else off anything to play off, okay? And that's what Pandora used as an excuse on the runway, but I think that was a little bit unfair as well. Mm, okay, so I'm just going to fill in those brows off camera really quickly. I'll be right back. Alright, so I filled in my brows and now I'm going into my Tati palette, my the Soothe Metallic, the gold. I'm just going to use that to go on the lid and blend it into the darker shades. So this gives me a soft, kind of a cut crease appearance. Okay, next, Pandora. Pandora, I think, you know, by this by this stage in the competition, she was really too much in her head already and I don't think she was really enjoying herself very much. Okay, she was... Um, Second guessing herself almost every challenge, okay? She didn't win a few of the challenges she should have won. She should have won the Grumarican Horror Stories thing. I think that, that she could have easily won. But you know, I think they just wanted to keep her around the Snatch Game to see what she does. And you know, she really bombed the Snatch Game too because she was too much in the hit. And I guess that's why she really deserved to go home. Okay, I'm using this Aura in Metallic to do the inner corner. And now the liner, so a very graphic liner. And of course, rounding up is Raja, who did um, Latoya Jackson. Okay, not very good either. Okay, she basically had RuPaul feed her the um, the kind of joke that she wanted. Okay, the I like sushi, but I don't like rice or fish. So she just basically did that over and over again. But you know, she got RuPaul cracking up. So at least this got her safe. So that was quite smart of Raja, I think. I'm just going to repeat this line on the other side, can't talk while I do it, okay? And I'll be right back again. Alright, before I go into the rest of my eyes, I'm going to contour my face. I'm going to try the new BH Studio Pro um, Contour, okay? Really big pans. I'm going to go in first with a little bit of this bronzer, my light bronzed. Okay, and then going in with, I guess, this middle shade here. Deepen up the contours a little bit. Okay, the runway, the pop art runway. I really like this runway. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. Uh, Trinity is the only one who bothered to do pop art makeup. I really, really like seeing that. But yeah, the highlights for this runway definitely Trinity K. Bonet. Kylie looked very good. Apparently, this look is a pop art Andy Warhol Barbie that she is paying homage to, so she looks stunning. But I think she was wearing a hard front wig. <laughs> As Raja said on the pit stop, um, there was too much Warhol. She could have been a little bit more Lichtenstein influence and everything. So today's makeup is going to be a bit of a Lichtenstein kind of a pop art thing. Without the dots. Okay, going in this lighter. Pop the highlights. Soft sculpt for the nose today. I'm going to let the contour do much of the heavy lifting for... I mean, this BH Cosmetics palette is actually really pigmented. Really a... Uh, Quite a good dupe for the mix. And it blends very really nice. Yeah, so yeah, this Studio Pro BH <laughs> Cosmetics palette is really, really not bad. Let's do a little bit of a snatchery now. Okay, let's go into the under eye. I guess that was All Star 6. Still waiting for the game within the game. I don't know what it is. I'm, as I said, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty much of a letdown, so don't get your hopes up too much about the game within the game. I'm going to try using my, this epic, super skinny eye marker. This so one trick, if the eyeliner is not working, is to pull the felt thing out and stick it back in around. That sometimes gives it life. And then going back in, with the dark from with the bare necessities to just smoke out the lower lash line a little bit. Okay, so yeah, so that's All Star 6. Drag Race Holland season 2. So that they dropped that on us too. It's really, I think, a little bit too much drag race soon. We're gonna be pretty much inundated <laughs> with drag race. The Queen's on. Uh, Drag Race Holland are really, really impressive. Okay, some of them are super, super polished. But, you know, it's a bit disappointing when you, when the first five or six who walk in are all <laughs> skinny white twinks. Even the oldest one, Keita Minaj, 
who's 40 is basically an old twink. <laughs> so, yeah, not very much diversity. I mean, at least there's one black person, one old person, and one kind of Asian, okay? So Ivy at least is an Indonesian Dutch. And as I mentioned in my Her Talk Riots um, video, the Dutch had a lot of influence in Indonesia. Yeah, so I'm rooting for her. She is part of the, what they call the Mermaid Mansion with Abby Oh My God and and Envy Peru, but <laughs> she looks like to be a little bit busted and not as polished as the others, from, judging from her first runway. Hopefully she, she manages to turn it out. Some of the really interesting ones are all the V names, okay? So Vivaldi and Vanessa Von Cartier and, and Victoria Wondersnatch. Victoria won the snatch. Maybe I should do a hand thing. V, no, I don't know. Anyway, Vivaldi is amazing. I actually have one of her wigs. I haven't worn it yet. I ordered it from her, I think about two years ago and I've been saving it <laughs> for a special occasion and I haven't touched it. So I really want to wear it one day. It still holds its shape, okay? She's, it's so shellacked and so full of hairspray. I think it's, I think it'll look amazing. Okay, and um, of course, um, uh, Vanessa Von Cartier. I started following her, I think sometime last year when she won some uh, pageant and she's amazing. She's so beautiful. Okay, and the other one I'm really <laughs> struck by is also My Little Puny. Okay, My Little Puny, My Little Puny, okay. Gorgeous as a guy, okay. Almost like gorgeous in the way that Chelsea Boy was gorgeous. I think they should do an OnlyFans together or something. Really, really hot. I'm happy they had a bit of a older queen there, okay. So for example, um, Tabitha, who's really, really old. Apparently Envy Puru's mother as well. Uh, she is but she is so busted that she's going to be, I think, the poopy poisson of this season, okay? They're just keeping her around for the respect and for everything, but her talent was really sloppy. Her out, her makeup on the out runway was so bad, okay? The red contour was so unblended and everything. To be fair, she should have been bottom, okay? She should have, they should have just Joe Blacked her. But um, I guess, you know, she's there for a reason, and I, I guess we'll find out when we keep watching. Okay, so now, just going to start deepening up all these lines. Soft pink blush. Oh, it's coming together. Okay, now, nice. I guess it's, the lip has to be completely red. So, Stila, I think this is the only red lip that I have. Try to outline this with my ink lot. And I'm outlining on the inside border. Okay, so I've deepened up the corners there. Okay, and now with my blank slate, my white, I'm gonna add some of these white highlights. They even did a pop art lip on the glow up this season. Okay, I'm just gonna go in my highlighter first. So, you know, I don't have to go over all the black lines later. I'm using my Kaleidos. Ray Rider. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay, it's around the nose that it gets really tricky. Let's start there. Now we need thicker lines on the side of the face. And I'm going to start my metallic paints. I've got my Meron metallic paints here. This is probably a lot. There's a little bit of this goes a long way. I think this is meant for <laughs> painting the whole bodies. I'm going in with my Wonder Woman tiara. I'm going to use a marker for this. Now fill that in with gold. Okay, so that's the idea. I need to let my camera cool down and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, but my camera doesn't seem to be able to focus on my face. <laughs> All right, so I've gone and drawn my Wonder Woman thing <laughs> and done some pop art lines all over my body. Just gonna add some white now, okay? All the white highlights, okay? Yeah, so um, Drag Race Holland. Yeah, Drag Race Holland, the first one that went home, unfortunately, was Juicy Couture, okay? They bring in all these social media queens just to send them home first, okay? Juicy Couture, Rome. <laughs> That's why I probably will never <laughs> let myself go on Drag Race to, to, to get that fate. Strategic White. Okay, yeah, and this year, um, Frank's wigs look amazing, okay? I think he should send some wigs over to Spain. <laughs> And now, I made this star. It's a bit goyak, but it will do. 
I don't have time to paint all my hands, so I think I will leave those. Okay, I'm going to throw on a wig, put these face tapes on, and I'll be back with the finished look. Alright, this is the finished look. Gal Gadot, Base Tees, and Wonder Woman 1984. <laughs> Alright, how do you like my pop art Wonder Woman? I would... I wish I had time to do my hands and paint my nails, but you know. Otherwise, it's just going to be a Wonder Woman pop art pin-up girl Wonder Snatch. <laughs> Wonder Snatch. <laughs> oh yeah, and I love the way that a lot in All Star 6, they did a whole bunch of snatch puns. The Snatchlorettes and the Snatcherinos and the Snatch this, Snatch that. That's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> Alright, so if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And ring that bell while you're at it to get notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, and don't forget, please subscribe to my channel. It's gr growing slowly, but I want it to grow a bit faster, please. <laughs> so just share it with your friends if you can, alright? I've got a couple more collabs coming up soon, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye! I didn't really paint below there. <laughs>other videos i just did one on how to do national day nails and also i did a collab with opera tang recently she's amazing check her out bye